We have got some breaking news to report to you in connection with the Georgia runoff race for United States Senate. Decision Desk HQ, our partner, is projecting that Senator Raphael Warnock will win re-election in the state of Georgia. Now, currently, about 83% of the vote is in, with Warnock with a 50.46 to 49.54% lead. But this sort of projection comes in based on what we know is still coming. Which counties, which votes are going to be coming in next? And as a result of that and the lead that Warnock already has, a decision desk HQ declaring that Senator Raphael Warnock will win re-election in the state of Georgia. That will, of course, mean that in the United States Senate, Democrats will have a 51 to 49 lead. Big question has been, what's the difference from the 50-50 tie when the vice president can break the tie anyway? There are some procedural differences uh, that come into play. And there are also the practical differences in not having to worry about one senator uh, uh, in, the, in the party coming along. Robert Sherman, I think, is there for us live. Uh, Robert, you are there at uh, Warnock headquarters. What are you hearing? Well, you know, Dan, I don't think I've ever actually seen this before where Decision Desk HQ actually beat the watch party here. Uh, it hasn't been announced over the speakers here yet. A lot of people are still just enjoying the music, but obviously that call just came down a moment ago from Decision Desk HQ. You know, I can tell you, Dan, that we've heard this strategy over the last couple of weeks that Democrats, of course, they're hoping to run up the score on the early votes and the absentee ballots. From the numbers that we were getting in, that's what it looked like. Democrat, registered Democrats made up about 52% of those early votes. So it was going to take strong Republican turnout today here to get that. When we were in the at, at metro Atlanta area, in the Buckhead area, we didn't really see much in the way of crowds at those polling locations. Obviously, that's more of a Democratic stronghold, with the thinking being that Republicans would be showing up heavily at the polls here on Election Day. And you go county to county, you look at the numbers, and even in some of the more red counties, there they are where Herschel Walker did well, not quite as well as he had done on Election Day. So, of course, you know, there's still, uh, you know, a long way to go, you know, in terms of sifting through the post-mortem of this whole election. But from what we saw on the ground here, it was a pretty dreary day. There's a lot of rainfall. It was pretty chilly. Some voters speculated that they weren't sure if uh, the weather would be pushing some people away from coming out today. We just didn't really see that major turnout on the ground in the major Atlanta areas where, again, you would think that the majority of people who would be at those polls would more than likely be leaning towards Herschel Walker. Just didn't really see that in the uh, metro Atlanta area. Um, um, I feel like you should turn around and yell, hey, guys, we're calling it for your guy uh, back here. You should know they maybe they have the wrong channel on up over there because here at uh, the decision desk HQ projecting uh, that Senator Raphael Warnick will win re-election in the state of Georgia. You mentioned voter turnout. Uh, we've spoken with a number of the top voting officials in the state of Georgia and all of them talking about how high the turnout was, both in terms of early voting and in terms of Election Day voting as well. Right, yeah, very true. I mean, especially in some of those rural areas, I mean, that's where the Republicans were expecting to get a lot of their numbers from. It just varied from precinct to precinct in terms of, you know, what we were going to expect. You even heard it from the Secretary of State's offices, is that from what they were hearing, that it would be a long night here. But, of course, the issue that Chase Q making this call at 9.50, just before 10 o'clock in the Eastern time hour. You know, I mean, you look at this, Dan, as well. I mean, there were a lot of things that were coming into tonight that were Raphael Warnock had some advantages. One of them was ad spending. Over the last four weeks, it was more than a two-to-one margin favoring the Democrats. Other things that you looked at as well, you know, that were favoring the Democrats here. Look, Brian Kemp's still very popular here in the state of Georgia. Uh, he wasn't on the ticket here tonight. There were no coattails here for Herschel Walker to try and ride on. There was no lieutenant governor, attorney general, secretary of state. Those were all races that the Republicans won fairly handily here in the state. And even talking. Thank you for watching. 
Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your cable provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.